32 year old man with the following clinical presentation what do you think we are dealing with what okay before i go further clipple field syndrome is something which has a triad in that triad you do have a short webbed neck you do have a low posterior hairline all right you do have decreased you know range of movement at neck so you do have all these things okay now i don't see i mean the neck looks obvious to me i don't see any short stature as such i mean i can't comment on it but still i don't think so range of movement there's nothing which is mentioned sprengel's deformity is congenital high elevated scapula on one side that is sprengel deformity they have not even shown me the scapula now <clears throat> cleidocranial dysostosis and pollen's anomaly see when i talk about pollen's anomaly okay first let's talk about cleidocranial dysostosis so when we talk about this diagram so this is basically absent clavicle or rudimentary clavicle okay apart from that uh, there is failure of i would say intramembranous ossification so that affects skull that affects clavicle that do affects face as well now pollen's anomaly when we say this is uh, absence of pectoralis major muscle so it is ipsi lateral absence of pectoralis major plus you have along with this sin brachy dactyly i don't think they have given me any photograph showing me small fingers or fused fingers so apart from that i don't think they have given me any disturbance here in the chest so i don't think so okay i don't think so about it mujhe nahi lagta then sprengel deformity high elevated scapula again they have not even shown me scapula clipple field are nahi yaar so when both the shoulders can be approximated together that is because of the absence of the clavicle so answer is ccd so we used to call it ccd clino cleidocranial uh, dysostosis